everyone, I'm Jennifer Wakeman and this is In Your Neighborhood. Our first stop this evening is taking us to Union County. We are going to visit with a local artist, Mark Hyde. Mark Hyde is a portrait painter who spent most of his childhood as a Lewisburg resident. He started painting as a teenager and after graduating from Lewisburg Area High School, moved on to study at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts in Philadelphia. He has also studied with two other Philadelphia artists in their studios, Wade Schumann and Nelson Shanks. He has since returned to his native Lewisburg where he lives with his wife, Jessica, and their three children. Mark works exclusively in oil paint and while he produces a variety of paintings, his focus continues to be on portraits. Yeah, I do a lot of landscapes and still lives and different things. Um, I, when I was probably about 13, I started focusing on uh, portrait work. Um, and my father was always very uh, um, encouraging of that. He always sort of fueled that fire. And so he would get me books on anatomy and different things. Um, and once I had my first show in 99, it, every, all my work was figured because that's all I wanted to do. So it was a pretty natural thing for people to just ask for portraits of a certain person. or um, So it, that's always been kind of a natural pool for me. Portraits are done from sittings, sketches, and photos that Hyde does when he meets with a client. Mark took us on a tour of his studio in an upstairs room of their busy household. From this room, he produces exquisite works for his next showing while the kids are playing next door or just down the hall. While his wife and children are some of his favorite subjects, he has several more high-profile clients in his portfolio, including former Surgeon General C. Everett Koop and King Michael of Romania. His first portrait of Koop now hangs at the College of Physicians in Philadelphia, and a second is slated to grace the walls of the Koop Science Institute at Dartmouth University. One of Hyde's most satisfying portraits was not someone whose life takes place on the world stage. One of the ones I've enjoyed the most, though, was a, a portrait of Lena Renock. Uh, she uh, was at cardiac rehab in, at Evan for many years, and I, that, that was a, a really meaningful portrait to paint, just because I, I, I've known her for a long time. I know how many people that she's touched, and so I, I sort of saw more of the, the, pl the, the role that this portrait would play. And, and uh, I think reminding people of you know this day in day out service of somebody local. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times when you paint people that have you know a lot of times when you're painting their portrait it's because they've they've progressed high up some corporate ladder or they've done something well. Um, but you're not always you're, you're pretty far removed from that, and so you're always trying to educate yourself on why is this person having a portrait painted. Mm -hmm. uh, but with Lena, it was very natural. I knew exactly why she was having her portrait painted because lots of people love her and lots of people would love to see her face on the, on the wall every day. And it would remind them of, of kind of what the standard was for them. Uh, so, so the, you know, if you can find work like that, that's, that's the best kind. Hyde doesn't always have the luxury of painting people he's known for years. He tells us that capturing the essence of a person on canvas is what the job is really all about. You know, you do the best you can, and you can't you can't over over promise. Mm -hmm. um, and so you, you try to you try to be with someone long enough to get a sense of uh, who they are. But what's interesting to me is that from that perspective, if you can just get the, the the physiognomy of somebody down, if you can just get the way they sit, those are things that are um, indicative of who they are um, as a person. And so, without even realizing it, you can capture something about someone without realizing that they have a, a particular personality trait. But if you just got their, the way they sit right, it sort of is a, is a tell or something to the people around them. And they, they respond to that and say, oh, you just, you just nailed, nailed it with that. Um, mm -hmm. but, they, um, but you didn't realize that you did. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, I have a lot of respect for just, just trying to paint it as you see it and just sort of recording nature. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it'll, sort of do the job for you if you're there to, to do it right. In order to get it right, Hyde does a good bit of study of anatomy in addition to the seven years of formal training in oil painting. It can take more than a year to complete some commissions, though others are finished in a few months' time. While Mark Hyde still gets excited about his work and is passionate about creating pieces that will be well received, he's quite pragmatic about the process when he says, you don't create art every day, 
you paint. Frequently, paintings like the pumpkin on a blue bar stool will take on a life of their own while others simply go away. Some of the frustrations of being a portrait painter are that is it is an old craft and many people don't understand it as a vocation or appreciate the work that goes into it. But Hyde is circumspect. He's more concerned with continuing to improve and grow in his craft. I think the biggest thing is that you, when you get excited about a painting, you, you, you have this idea in your head, you have this image in your head, and you uh, are trying to realize that. And there's always a difference between the image and what happens, the theory and the practice. And so, you know, you're sort of one degree off from that. And that's frustrating. Uh, even though it might have been a successful painting, it might have sold, people might have loved it, uh, but you, that's that sort of that little difference there between the original conception and what you hoped it would be and then what it was is what really gets you going to continue to get better. Um, so you, you really have to give yourself over to being a lifelong student. Hyde shows his work once a year in Philadelphia, but you can see it anytime or contact him via his website, www.markhyde.com. Coming up after the break, we're going to talk about the conservation of our local watersheds.